Dasha, congratulations back into the semifinals once again. Um, can you just give us your overall thoughts on your match and how you battled today? Oh, well, it was a very, very tough match uh, from the beginning till the end. Uh, we were both fighting for our lives today. Uh, also, I saw we showed a pretty good uh, level of tennis. And uh, yeah, really happy with the effort I put today to come back after this tough uh, loss of the first set and then be able to, you know, get better level also through the second and third set and just uh, yeah, really happy with my win today. Did she surprise you? You know, she's had a great run this week. So were you surprised at her level? And then Dasha, what do you think are a couple of the things that are really going well for you in your game, the aspects of your game that are going well? Uh, well, uh, I wasn't surprised because, uh, honestly, to say Jacqueline, she's a very good player, I always knew it. Uh, she was unlucky with the like uh, very bad injury, like uh, I think two years ago. So it's very tough to come back. Um, and she's definitely on her way back and uh, she's finding a good level. And yeah, that's what I was actually prepared for, for the battle, for the like very tough match and uh, also she was she won a couple of great matches here so uh yeah i wasn't surprised with that uh, and talking about charleston i don't know it's just a special place for me and uh um it's a very also very nice uh tournament for the tr transition from the hardcore to red clay <laughs> because honestly green clay is so something between it's not exactly the red clay and obviously not the hard court but it's a uh, um, very good surface to make this transition so and just uh, everything around makes Charleston a special place and I really enjoy being here and maybe because unconsciously I want to stay here longer that's why I'm playing good here Dasha, I went back and looked at press you did after you won in 2017. Oh, actually, I even remembered. And you remember. one of the yeah, you said I a don't. <laughs> well, you you said a lot of uh, you said a lot of noteworthy things. But one of the things you said that stood out was I played with my brain. Yeah. And uh, can you talk a little about that? Because I'm assuming to some extent that's still how you're playing. Yeah. Well, um, physically, I am can be not that strong as a lot of girls on tour so I'm not that powerful uh, so I have to win with something else which is my brain and my heart so I have to fight and fight smart and uh, try to always find the ways how to win how to try to you know sneak and steal these points from the opponents how to make them uncomfortable um, and of course I have to always improve my game trying to because many, like, through my career, it happened a few times when I was kind of facing the wall um, with, like, not knowing what to, what I'm doing wrong because I was losing matches, playing the same like I was playing, but I couldn't win a match. So uh, that, like, a few times I hit the point where I had to change something. Um, it's tough because it's something... Like it's a reality which you have to face that you are not good enough in certain moment, but also it helps you to progress. This these things they make you work and find a good way of how to go. So uh, yeah, I think like in everything in life, tennis it's pretty similar to that. <laughs> Nick got some questions. So many this. questions. <laughs> Uh, Vika and, and Jess are on court right now, but just briefly, do you mind talking about the different matchups that that would offer you in the semis? Well, I would not choose either of Oh, <laughs> I wouldn't choose either of them, honestly. Uh, they can play long. They can yeah. stay on court as much as they want. Uh, I mean, they're both great players, incredible players, very tough uh, to beat. If you want to beat them, you have to be on your your best shape, showing the best you can. Uh, so, I don't know. They're both aggressive, both uh, doing everything on the highest level. So, exactly what you face in the semifinals all the time. So, uh, but 
well, I'm ready. I'm prepared. I spent quite time on clay, so I'm used to it already. And uh, yeah, it's going to be a very tough match, obviously. Doesn't matter who wins. Doesn't matter who is going to be on the other side tomorrow. And uh, well, what I can say. They both, they've been on my vlog. So <laughs> that's good. <laughs> um, but they didn't tell me anything about how to beat them. So it doesn't matter. <laughs> What's the what's the best part of the uh, vlog this week from Charleston? Have you watched it? Yes, it's gone. It's I watched it. Obviously, <laughs> it's not finished yet. It's finished the day when uh, my tournament for me is finished. So, um, so far, it's my favorite vlog. Honestly, it's so good. I I, I swear, <laughs> it's so good. Like it's so rich and. Uh, just yeah, so many things happening, a lot of interactions with the players. So yeah, Vika is gonna be there. Vika, Paula, Dasha, obviously, <laughs> Seville, she's always there. Uh, yeah, and it's, and just interactions like and you can you will see how Charleston, how incredible is this tournament, because there's yeah Natasha is walking with the camera everywhere. Like she has it's more than an hour already. It's gonna be, I think. A, for the moment, longer than our 15 minutes. So it's a documentary. <laughs> Bob needs to pay some money. <laughs> Bob needs to open his wallet. 